Hey booze, hey, it is your girl, the Rising Phoenix and Path coming at you from Maryland. And I wanted to jump on real quick. I had a quick message for you chosen ones. And today's message is this. We, you know, are still in our healing process, right? There's levels to this thing. And we're at a point, most of us are at a point where we are ready to be outside. And let me tell you, chosen ones, RPE tribe, it is glorious. I've been there. I've been outside. You know, and you're gonna want to date, and you're gonna you're and you're gonna start meeting people, and you're gonna go on dates, and you're gonna you know start meeting people and creating friendships, reconnecting with old friendships, and I want you to know, chosen ones, that as you get out of hermit, as you get out of uh, being in a place where you have um, secluded yourself, I want you to know. That there's other toxic people out there, whether they're maliciously toxic and narcissistic or whether they are just broken and haven't deal with the tra traumas they've experienced and they'll project them onto you and you'll trigger them and they'll trigger you too. And I want you to know, chosen ones in this season, please be led. Please be led. It's okay to live your life because we only get one, but be led because... Everybody don't have what it takes to be a chosen one's friend. And because of how we give and because of how we love, half acidness will never be enough for us because we know what we bring to any given table. And I want you to know this also. When you're not easy to fool, they'll call you difficult. They'll say that you're a complainer. And they'll say that, you know, you're putting pressure on them. But the fact of the matter is chosen ones, RPE tribe, you are the pressure. You are the pressure without even trying to be the pressure. And there is a level of accountability that comes with even being your friend. And toxic people, most toxic people who haven't dealt with their childhood traumas, who haven't dealt with any of their traumas, most of those people don't have what it takes to meet you where you are. And it's okay. There's no judgment there. But keep your standards high. Stand in your truth. See those red flags. And do what you need to do to safeguard your heart and your soul and your spirit and your energy. And I want you to know that you're not difficult, babe. You are the pressure. Keep being that pressure.